Today we're ranking NBA centers without knowing what center is next. So we did this with point guards last week, and it was the best performing video on this channel since we came back. So I appreciate y'all. And I didn't want to go in chronological order with point guards, shooting guards, small four center. I wanted to go centers directly because the center position went from one that it seems like six years ago was the worst position in basketball to now being one of the most stacked. So I am going until I get a five that I'm really, really confident in. Remember, I am ranking without seeing who is next. And we're using a different wheel because y'all told me that the last wheel was rigged. So now we got a different Click Capella, I'm putting at three. I feel pretty good about Click Capella being at three, man. He's a he's a really good center. And I know that last year was wishy-washy for him, but when he was on, he was pretty solid. As we get JaVale McGee, right? Because this is what this is my thinking. I think they signed JaVale McGee to let Christian Wood play the four. So I think he's more confident at four and better at the four. But then again, the numbers say otherwise. His best minutes last year. When he was in Houston was when they got rid of the five, when there was no more Daniel Tice. So I don't really know exactly how they're going to play this. Do I want to say it's Christian Wood or JaVale McGee? You know what? The internet got every every piece of information you need. I'm going to see who they projected starter center is. And I'm going to continue to use this article from Bleacher Report. Because it was just from about a month or so ago. They're saying it is JaVale McGee. Okay, so I'm not tripping. If it is JaVale McGee, who do I, I just said at the three click Pella? JaVale is really good, low key. He, he's underrated at this point because he was looked at as a main. Now he's a three time champion. And the last couple spots, he was extremely impactful. But I am going to put him at five. JaVale, if you're seeing this, my pop, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? I still got number love and respect for you and your career. Um, Portland. Nurkic versus Click Capella. I'm putting Nurk at the four. And, and you know what? I hate that Nurk like snapped his leg or whatever the hell happened to him. Because he was super young. Maybe not super young, but he was young at that point. And he was looking really good that season. Um, and since he's come back, he hasn't been the same. He hasn't been terrible either. But he really hasn't been the same. He isn't on the same trajectory as he was then. I'm putting him at the four. So right now we got Clint at the three. Nurkic at the four. JaVale McGee at the five. I, I feel pretty good about that. As we get messed up completely because the Charlotte Hornets have the worst center and center core in all the basketball, basically. So regardless, we lost this run because whoever it's going to be, whether it be Mark Williams or it is Plumlee, we got to put him at two. And that's bad. Yeah, they got Mason Plumlee. We got to put Mason Plumlee at two, unfortunately. So this is a dead run, but I do want to see who our eventual one is. It's going to be Zubach or is that Robert Williams? It's going to be Robert Williams. We do not like this run whatsoever. We going for part two. We restart. We restart with... Are we saying Porzingis is at the five here? Are we forcing Porzingis to be the five even though he don't feel comfortable there? Only one way to find out. What do they got the Zards doing, man? What do they got the Zards doing? Um, Porzingis is at the five. Yep. Okay. Porzingis. Ooh, I don't really know what to think about Porzingis going into this season, honestly. I think the safe thing is to put Porzingis at the three. And we move on and hope that we get two worse and two better. <laughs> That's all I can hope. As we get OKC... I don't know, is Chet running Is Chet running the five over there? We're referencing this thing way more than I wanted to. Baisley, five. I'm putting him at five. Realistically, Baisley is not a center. But again, like I said at the beginning of the video, we're talking about positionless basketball here. So if Baisley is there, I'm putting him at the five. Porzingis is at the three. Baisley at the five. I feel pretty good, two spins in. We get Jared Allen. I'm putting Jared Allen at two. I'm putting Jared Allen at two, Porzingis at three, and then at five, Baisley. I, I mean, you can argue Jared Allen versus Porzingis. I'm taking Porzingis 100% of the time. Unfortunately, we got the Utah Jazz, so that kind of ruins things because it, it might be Azabuki. It might be Walker Kessler at the four. Neither of those players are better than Baisley. But you could probably argue that they might be. But this puts Miles Turner at the two, right? I'm low-key forgetting who I'm spinning. I need to start writing it down. All right, that's a scrap. I'm writing them down so I do not forget because I think I messed that run up for show. Sure. This is the one, though. Now that I'm writing it down, I'm more locked in than I've ever been before. This is about to be the one that's going to really get us going. Robert Williams. I'm putting Rob at the two. One of the most impactful defensive players in all of basketball. I'm putting him at two. Might be controversial. It might come back to bite me. He probably is safe at the three, low key. We got the Lakers? Yeah. Hmm. This is where things get interesting. 
Thomas Bryant, I'm guessing. Thomas Bryant. Thomas Bryant, I'm putting at four. Put you at four. I don't know. That might come back to bite me. Um, but we, we shall see. Next, we're getting the Houston Rockets. Who the hell is the starting center of the Houston Rockets this season? I'm a casual fan, as you can see. Um, Sengun, right! Right! Thomas Bryant versus Alperin Sengun. Thomas Bryant versus Alperin Sengun. Ooh, wow. I'm going to play a little bit of favoritism. I'm putting Sengun at the three. Even though he hasn't really proved anything in his NBA career so far, I'm kind of projecting him. Again, it might come back to bite me. Because I think T Thomas Bryant's going to be really good for the Lakers. I'm being honest with you. We got the Spurs. Jakob Pertl. I got to run him at the five, even though I really like Jakob. And he's probably better than like three, two of the other centers on his list. He's probably better than Sengun. He's probably better than Thomas Bryant. But I couldn't put him at number one. I think this is a scrapped one. Because again, we're having Mitchie Robinson be the one. That was bad. We will bounce back. We will bounce back. Here we go. We're going to the Warriors. Kevon Looney, I'm putting you at four. That feels fair, right? That feels fair. I think there's a lot of centers better than him, but he's also, also good. DeAndre Aiden? DeAndre Aiden. Ooh, do I put you at three or two, DeAndre? I'm putting DeAndre at, at two. I'm putting him at two. Might come back to bite me for sure, for sure. But I'm putting him at two. We just got to hope we get people worse than him. Steven Adams. Kevon Looney, Steven Adams. Kevon Looney, Steven Adams. Kevon Looney, Steven Adams. Uh, I think the recency bias is going to make me put Kevon Looney higher because he was just doing stuff in the finals. So I'm going to do that. Steven Adams, you're at the five. Could have gone either way. Could have gone either way. Miles Turner, you're going to the three spot. So right now we got Aiden at the two, Turner at the three, Looney at the four, Adams at the five. We need somebody big. And we're getting Jonas Valanciunas. Big Val is nice. Either way, there's, there's a lot of in interchangeableness in this five. So I'm going to go again because I'm not confident. The thing about the center position that I'm realizing, a lot of these players are in the same tier of player. Which means that like you can argue either way and I don't think you'll be wrong. And a lot of people that we just got, you can argue either way. All right. We're going a little bit longer than I wanted to. All right, lock in. Lock in, Will. Give us something nice. Denver Nuggets. Jokic, one. I'm putting Jokic at one. That, I don't think no matter who I spin, I feel good at him at one. And I know there's one dude you arguing, Kenny. This guy's there, too. Jazz, if it's going to... Okay, let's go double check who it is. But if it's Walker Kessler, you're going at five, my boy. It's Walker Kessler. You're going at five. Oh, snap. This might be the run. We got the best center in the league in my opinion, and then a rookie who wasn't even supposed to be a starter in his first year. Hey, he, he better take advantage of that opportunity, bro. In Utah, he might be loved. So next, Mark Eden. Next, Mark Eden in Utah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Give me something nice. Jakob. I've, sp I've spun Jakob like four times today. Oh, do I feel like... Do I feel like I can spend two centers better than Jakob here? Do I feel like I could spend two centers better than Jakob? I'm putting Jakob at three. Oh, man. That, now, that might be the worst thing I could have done in this video. Jakob at three gives us a little more wiggle room. Now, I wish I put him at four. What am I thinking? Wendell, you're... you're, you're go Is it going to be Mobamba? I'm guessing Wendell, because no, it's Wendell. 100% it's Wendell. Don't overthink it, because they just drafted Paolo, and they got Franz. Those are your, those are your forwards. Okay. All right. In order for this to recoup itself, we need an all-star caliber center for the two, and we're getting Kevon Looney, bro. Okay. Two more. Two more. I'm confident that in these last two, we're going to get greatness. Start off with JaVale McGee, you're going to four. Because I do believe if we get Walker Kessler or we get um, Darius Baisley again, oh, bam, bam. Yo, bam is in a very unique spot. Bam, I'm putting you at two. I'm putting you at two. Based on the way we're spinning, if we probably should have put him at one because we haven't got a lot of great centers. We're getting Steven Adams again. I'm putting Adams at three. 
So we got Adams at three, Bam at two, JaVale McGee at four. We need a superstar center and a bump center. And then I feel okay. We get... This man, Kevon Looney, has been spun seven times. This is a bad run already. This is a bad run. We haven't landed on Joel Embiid. We haven't landed on Cat. We haven't landed on... Walk okay, all right. This this wheel has to be rigged. I'm going to find a new one. There's no way we kept landing on the same five teams, bro. There's no way. New wheel, and it has sound. Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm, I'm saying this is Rudy Gobert. I'm putting Rudy Gobert at one. I'm putting Rudy Gobert at one because I don't believe we're going to spend somebody better. In my opinion, Rudy Gobert is like the fourth best center in basketball. I don't think we're going to pull somebody better. We got Jared Allen. I'm putting Jared Allen at two. So far, I feel good. Two spins in, I feel pretty good about my team. Okay, feel pretty good. Go Bear and Allen. Next, we're getting Pacers. Miles, I'm putting you at three. It's going in the or it's going in, in chronological order right now. I was thinking between three and four, obviously. We just gotta hope that we don't get another all-star caliber sitter in this one. We're getting Vucevic. You, I legit think that you can argue that Turner's better than Vucevic. I think you can argue. I think you can argue it. I, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. Last one. Give me, give me OKC. Baisley again. Hold on. This might be the best we could do. Gobert, Allen, Turner, Vooch, Baisley. I'm just saying. That wasn't too bad. Now again. I think the biggest argument here is between Turner and Vucevic. I'm going to go one more time and hope that that's the one one. But so far, just one time through with this wheel, really good. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Rematch. We're starting off with Jakob or is that Pascal? Because I think that they're going to be running Fred, Gary, Scotty, OG, Pascal. I'm putting Pascal at two. In my opinion, Pascal's not a center, but he will be running a ton of center again this season. So I'm putting them there. Next, we have this man, Miles Turner, continues to be to be got. I'm putting you at four this time, bro, because you kind of messed me up last time, potentially. The Pacers keep getting landed on. I, I low-key want to knock them out the league. I'm tired of seeing your name. What is happening? Miles Turner again? All right, spin again, spin again, spin again. Utah Jazz, yes. Last, last, Walker, last. Okay, we need a superstar center and then a, a, a above average center. And then we got to go run again. Superstar center, Rudy, stay at Rudy. It's Pelicans. Okay, I could put I could put Val, I could put Val at three. Val at three is not bad. We need Joel, we need Bam, we need, we need somebody elite, elite. Bam. Okay, well, to actually... You can argue Pascal over Bam for sure, and I couldn't even be mad at you. The last two gave us pretty good. Pretty good. I didn't realize how clumped together uh, the center position is, but I think we got two runs out of 100 that was solid. 